Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be with you, isn't it? Well, here we are, another Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It is a gorgeous afternoon. Hello, Becky. How are you? Today, we're going to do something completely different. Last week, we talked about the languages of love, and we finished uh, that entire series. So today, I was asked, I got a few messages last week um, asking me, what exactly does hypnosis feel like? What is hypnotherapy? So I just wanted to briefly talk about the work that I do. I've been practicing for over 20 years. Yes, I am proud to say this is maybe not a calling, but what I do, hypnosis and hypnotherapy, is a tool, a tool that I use and so many hypnotherapists use to help uh, our clients tap within their subconscious mind. Why? Because, let me explain, our mind is in two parts, conscious and subconscious, right? And most of us already know this. Consciously, we look, listen, and learn. And our subconscious also does three things, which is it regulates our entire bodily function. It also brings back memories, which is the replay. And the last thing that we do, it stores all the information that we look, listen, and learn consciously. So every day, in and out, Everything that happens, what we consciously function and do, it's already stored within our subconscious mind. That's why when we want to think about a memory, we go back and tap within our memory bank and uh, uh, bring emotions or thoughts, memory out so that we can recall that information. And what is memory? It's snippets of uh, what we looked, what we listened, and what we learned stored in our memory bank, which is the chip in a computer, which in a way, it's the chip in our mind. That's as easy as I can say. Now, what happens is when I have a client, I take them into a state of relaxation, just asking them to relax. As a matter of fact, why don't we do this? Together, we can relax. Take a deep breath and let's do a conscious, conscious hypnosis. So what is a conscious hypnosis? It is tapping within your imagery, within your memory bank, without being, let's say, with your eyes closed or uh, going into that state of deep relaxation. We don't need to do that. As a matter of fact, even right here, right now, thinking about your childhood memory from first grade, second grade, being in your elementary school, who was your best friend, the first house you grew up in, the neighborhood, if you played outside, what are the games that you played with the neighborhood children, your home, your bedroom, did you sleep in your bedroom by yourself? Did you have slip siblings that you slept with, that you shared the room with? So all that, see how fast you went into your memory bank to think about it. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Jamie. Hello, Angela. So we're talking about how our mind functions. By the way, in between our conscious and our subconscious mind, there is a critical factor uh, and a line that it's the filter between everything that we think and everything that we feel and know. And that critical factor is called the critical factor where we analyze and judge, reason and criticize. And that's the part that instead of thinking and just blurting it out, there is this concept of analyzing and judging before we speak, before we just blurt out everything. Now, oh, Adrian says, played on the roof in the snow in Germany. Loved it. See, 
how fast you went to your childhood, how fast you thought about it. And that is tapping into our chip in our memory bank. Good job, Adrian. What if I were to say, in the next 20 minutes, you can make a significant change of a behavior or a habit right here today. By the way, and what I'm going to ask of you, I want to make sure that you are in a sitting position, that you are in a safe place and not operating a car. If you're going to do this, by the way, share with me once you do this, once you complete this, and it can be right here, right now with me live. And if you are here live, please share an emoji. Let me know that you are here, you are with me, that uh, this is not a replay. And if it is a replay, by all means, let me know if you are watching this on a replay. So are you ready for a transformation? And if so, I want you to know that transformation and anything that I do in my office, working with my clients for an hour, an hour and a half, and taking them into that state of deep relaxation, can also happen at a split second. And the difference is, we're not doing deep therapy, but I'm going to guide you and give you tools and techniques that today, this very day, you can make that change. Once you choose, see, everything happens from the moment we make a choice. Not what we want, not hoping, but saying, I am ready. Yes, I am ready. And the readiness is what brings that change about. Okay, so sit back wherever you are, be comfortable. And know that this will take not more than 15 minutes. And as you do, I do it with you. If you can, stretch your hands, stretch your arm, as far as you can. And take a nice deep breath, palms up. So stretch. And exhale. Good job. Do it one more time. Nice deep breath. And exhale. Good. Let's do it one more time. Nice deep breath. And hold for three, two, one. Exhale. Listening to the sound of my voice, listening to the sound of your own breath, listening to everything that surrounds you. And yet, at this very moment, nothing matters. And knowing by making this choice, right here, right now, you are giving yourself permission to relax your mind, Relax your body and begin the process of what I call self-hypnosis, self-healing. What if I were to say, all your thoughts and ideas, every habit and every behavior can change right now? What if, at this very moment, no matter what is happening around you, you know that you are safe? That you are safe, either sitting or standing, leaning on to something, or just leaning back in your chair. What if 
at this very moment, you give permission for your body to even become more loose. And just drop your shoulders. That's it. And just relax your body one notch more so that you are sinking deeper into the chair, knowing that you are safe and completely relaxed. Not because I say so, it's because you choose to. That's right. You can even wiggle your body until you find your body completely more relaxed and know that the chair is holding your weight, your body. And when you feel like it, you can close your eyes and just listen to the sound of my voice. That's it. Listening to the sound of my voice, allowing yourself to relax every nerve and every muscle, every organ, every tissue, every muscle, every nerve, perhaps even every molecule in your body begins to relax as you give yourself this permission at this time. And think about a behavior or a habit that you've had for the longest time. And today, you would like to make a change. That you are ready to make that change. Not expecting, but being open. And what if that change were to happen? Would you give yourself permission for you to choose something healthier and better for your life, for your body, for yourself? Bringing more love versus fear. And if there is a pain within you, if there is a hurt within you, if there is a fear within you, or if there is a negative habit without me knowing about it, just think back of all the years going back. It could be a habit that is no longer benefiting you or you're sick and tired of it. And I don't know what that it is. And it doesn't matter. It's all about you. And when you find that one behavior or habit that you would like to shift and let go, we're going to do my 3E technique. First and foremost, we're going to evoke it by acknowledging it. Acknowledge and think back if and when you have this one habit and behavior acknowledged where it stemmed from. Go back in time with your eyes closed. You're doing this in the privacy of your own space. It could be eating gambling, fear, pain, smoking, yes, stealing, cheating, it doesn't matter. Anger, resentment that you are harboring and you haven't let go of. And by recognizing that, you say to yourself, ah, oh. and what if you can deal with this and you have dealt with it and it has been a part of you and you say thank you because no matter what, 
no matter how you picked it up, no matter how you allowed yourself to hold on to this for as long as you have to today. Today, you are ready to acknowledge it. Hmm. What if your subconscious mind recalls the memory where it started, how it started, and the why doesn't matter. Maybe it's a learned behavior or you copied it. No matter what it is and when it is, made you feel good. It gave you a sense of belonging, knowing, recognizing, a sense of validation. Because there is nothing that your body and your subconscious will do to negate or harm you. And it's always there to safeguard you and protect you and shield you. Once you recognize it, what if you acknowledge it and embrace every aspect of this behavior that you thought and gave labels of negative, bad, harming, fearful. Just embrace it. Embrace because it's been a part of you. Embrace because it is you. Embrace because for whatever reason you owned it. Hmm. And what if today you could just say thank you? Thank you for having it. Thank you for being part of it. Thank you for being part of you. And although you may label it negative, that negative thing has helped you from so many other things and protected you perhaps in a negative way but it has been there you see even smoking has given you pleasure eating has given you a pleasure whatever it is that you may put a label of a negative label on it or a title of it's not good it's harmful it's bad others call it it's a bad habit in a way it has given you a sense of pride or pleasure and that is why it's been a part of you and not recognized by you until now mm, that's right so embrace all of you and recognize if it started at a young age. See yourself. See yourself at that younger age. See yourself incorporating that habit or that behavior you, that you took upon yourself and started behaving, safeguarding yourself without knowing. Hmm. See yourself as that young boy or young girl. What if you could just be more compassionate with that part of you right now? Even if everybody else says what you are doing is wrong. Or what you did was wrong. You validate you. 
what if this very moment you can just say, I see you. I recognize this within me. What if you just had a light bulb go on? Mm. What if everything that you believe you've been eating, dissing, in a way it's been eating at you? It's been hurting you and you had not validated or recognized this. And in turn, you started being so critical with yourself, with that younger version of you analyzing and judging and criticizing constantly, thinking, I haven't done enough, I am not good enough, I haven't completed enough, I haven't whatever, I'm not thin enough, I'm not healthy enough, I'm not successful enough, I am not enough. And who's the person that you're saying all that to? Yes, you. And when we have such strong voice being so critical, punishing, judging, criticizing ourselves, why would we need anyone else? So embrace all of you, the good, the bad, the right, the wrong, the tall, the short, the fat, the thin. We are all. because you're still lovable. You're still very much loving, giving, compassionate, and that is the part you have forgot to see. Validate yourself before you expect anyone else to do it. Love all parts of you. And what if all this was just a thought and you can just, in the blink of an eye, with a snap of a picture, finger, shift? What if through all this darkness, the light has always been within you to see? that younger version of you looking up to see, when will you recognize you? Hungry for your attention. Hungry to settle the tantrum within. Saying, What about me? And if you couldn't do this, have that compassion to open your heart, to validate yourself, to see beyond what is. And you can even tap and say, I give myself permission to speak. Speak and stand up for you, for the younger version of you, and say, I am now here to safeguard you, to stand up with you and for you, and hold your hand. And today, you can let go. We can let go of that pain, of that hurt, of this anger and resentment. 
I can forgive myself for holding on to all that, not realizing it's been eating at me. Neither the shame, the guilt. There is nothing to be ashamed of. I can let go of the guilt because it's not my fault anymore. Maybe it never was. And today, I choose to transform, to heal, to love, and to be. I choose to live instead of existing. Choose to live each day instead of existing every day. So as you are breathing in and out, listening to everything, every sound, allowing your body to heal if there is any scar, any hurt, any pain, any cut, and expand your mind to better things and say to yourself, I matter. My body matters. My health matters. My life matters. My family matters. I matter to my family. I am loved. I am loving. I am ready to begin living fully and completely. I choose life. I choose living. I choose health. I choose vitality. I choose oxygen. I choose love. I choose me. You see, if you could just turn to yourself, to that little girl, and just tap within yourself and open, just like tapping on to that little boy a little girl, and for just one moment say, I am willing to release the patterns within me that created this condition. Hmm. Again, I choose to release willingly the patterns within me that created this condition. I am willingly releasing all past patterns that help me create this condition. I release lovingly. What if today this becomes my mantra? To release habits, patterns, behaviors, concepts, images, shapes, and starting today, starting now, starting this very moment, you say I do to you. You say I do, I matter, I love, I appreciate all of me my life, where I come from, where I grew up, who my parents were, my siblings, if you have, my family, my neighborhood, my choices, my history, and today. I willingly release 
the patterns within me that created this pattern. And today, I choose my own story, a new one, a healthier one, a more loving one. Today, I see me. Today, I see me. All of me. Because I matter. Today, I choose to heal with it. Another nice deep breath. And so it is. And so it is. I hope today's conscious state, a hypnotic state, a self-hypnosis state, a guided visualization, Today's session was beneficial to you. Now, if you are still in that state of deep relaxation, you may just count from one to five and bring yourself to full conscious awareness, recognizing everything that surrounds you, within you, and who you are, and open your eyes with a huge smile on your face. And as you breathe in and out, validate this incredible oxygen and vitality that you breathe in and out each and every day. And when you swallow, you bring that oxygen within. This has been an incredible moment. And thank you for all of you who shared this time with me and with yourself. This is Lisa, your clinical hypnotherapist. I am here for you to guide you and help you transform for the better. You can always find me at healwithin.com or right here on Facebook. Or you can subscribe for more wonderful guided visualizations, hypnosis sessions, informations and inspirations that will be coming towards you. And you can always find me on YouTube under Lisa Gubari or Heal With It. God bless you, and may the universal light be with you. Goodbye. Oh, hello, Mark. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm always here to answer any and all questions or answer messages. Thank you for all of you being a part of this. Goodbye and God bless.